All right, guys, Clear Stone here. Um, today, we're going to show you how to dual feed the direct clutches in a 4 lady transmission. Um, this is something that every 4 lady should be done when rebuilding. Um, basically, what it does is it uh, puts more ply surface to the direct clutches um, in third gear. Uh, more ply equals more holding force, more horsepower. Had a lot of fun, do a lot of burnouts. All right, guys, so the first and uh, foremost easiest modification to dual feed um, to do is to leave out the second ceiling ring on the center support. Um, basically you just omit that from the build so whatever rebuild kit you have it will come with four. Um, you just leave that second one off. Um, obviously this is after you once disassembled your transmission, you've cleaned everything and you've replaced the lip seals and the intermediate piston and all that inside of here. So uh, basically once you've left your uh, center support ring, second ceiling ring off the center support you want to move down to plug in the case in the actual transmit itself. Now right here is a 3 8 um, cap plug. Um, you can get it at any hardware store, even uh, uh, transmissions parts warehouses sell these for this modification. Uh, you can also do a few other things like drilling and tapping and using an eighth inch MPT plug. It's a personal preference. Uh, it's not a huge deal. Um, down in the case is where we'll show you what uh, the orifice to plug. Right here is where your center support bolt will go, which actually goes into that center support where you left the second ceiling ring off. To the right of it is the reverse loop. That is the hole you want to plug off for when you dual feed the direct clutches. All right, guys, so right next to the uh, center support bolt where you uh, block the case off, there is a little cup that's in there. Um, it's an orifice. That has to be removed, and then you can knock the 3 8 cap in there. It's not going to go. So once that's knocked out, as simple as that, I just use a small flat tip punch. Uh, we want to go ahead and knock the cap in. We'll make sure it's centered. Um, again, if you screw this up, you get it at the hardware store, or you can drill it, tap it, and MPT it. Is there a certain depth you should do it to? Uh, do it flush with the case. That's how the factory is, and that's how I put them flush with the case, just like that. So basically guys, once you have the plug already done your case, you've removed your center support uh, second ceiling ring, um, you want to go ahead and you can go ahead and sit this on the rear gear train. And once it's in there and locked in. You can go ahead and move on to the direct clutch. Alright guys, so once we get down here to the direct drum, um, this transmission, the directs and the forwards will burn up bad and I don't know if you ever smelt burn up clutch, it gets nasty on the skin. So if there's some gloves on because protection is key. Um, so we're going to disassemble it, pull pressure plate, all the frictions and steels out. Once we get down to that, we'll remove the return spring and remove the um, molded piston out and then that way we can get to where we need to be to do the two modifications to the drum for the dual feet and uh, then we'll get to you know, reassemble it all. So once you get your retaining uh, snap ring off the direct drum I like to flip everything over so that way everything comes out nice and goes back in. Sometimes if you have a good trans that you're doing this to you, know, you don't want to mix nothing up. This is obviously cooked. I'll be doing new clutches and steel, new frictions and steels in it. Um, so we'll go ahead we'll pull the pressure plate out then you have a friction, a little wavy, and then you have a steel, a friction, and a steel, and a friction, and a steel, and a friction. So once you get that locking ring off, pull your return spring out, set that guy aside, and then you're going to pull off your molded piston for the direct drum, which is right here. Okay, um, these can be replaceable, or I mean reused. I like to replace them all. Um, they're cheap enough. They may come with the most rebuilt kits, so there's no point in reusing it. Um, 
getting down to the direct drum here's the lip seal that you remove it's on the center here for dual feeding direct clutches so we get a little pick here let's get that guy out of there we don't need this might be kind of stiff there we go come on and you do this why basically in the piston this seal divides two parts of the back of this molded piston so here and here so the fluid applies on the here when you remove this seal now it applies on all this and this is your main seal that seals right here so it gives you more surface area to apply on the piston which in turn applies on the direct clutches all right guys so once you take this lip seal off for the direct drum for the dual feed mo uh, modification you're going to drill a 16th inch hole right on the outside of the drum. Um, you got to make sure you don't mess up here because this is part of the sealing surface for the piston. But you drill it straight through it. Basically what that does is it's a fluid relief so that way you don't get centrifugal apply like in first gear, low gear and all that. So we're going to go ahead start cutting away. There it is, a little hole. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. Once that's done, you're gonna um, reassemble the molded piston. Um, be careful with the lip seals. Uh, you can't tear them going in because they are facing out. A um, lot of lube and a lip seal tool, which I don't have out right now. Once you get that in, obviously, return spring's gonna go back on. And then uh, you start stacking frictions and steels and checking clearances. And other than that, once it's done assembled, you go back to the full reassembly of the trans and uh, you've successfully dual fed the direct clutches on a 488.